welcome to study 2. So far, we have discussed about the basic concept of communication and the block diagram of the communication system. Now in today's video, we are going to discuss about the classification of communication system. Let's see the types of communication system first, then we will discuss them one by one. So, the first type is depending on the direction of the communication system whether the system is unidirectional or bidirectional. The second type depends on the types of the transmitting signal. The last and the third type depends on the process of transmission. So now, depending on those parameters, we can classify our communication system into three categories. So now we will discuss one by one. Now, discussing about the first type, which basically has two parts like unidirectional communication system and bidirectional communication system. In unidirectional communication system, we have simplex system and in bidirectional, we have half duplex system and full duplex system. Simplex is basically one way communication. When we are communicating such a way that the transmitter is sending some information to the receiver and receiver is accepting the signal but it is not possible for the receiver to send any information to the transmitter. Here we have a transmitter which is transmitting through this antenna and suppose there are multiple users like receiver 1, receiver 2. These receivers may be television or radio. Whatever we are watching on the television, it is nothing but broadcasting or transmitted signal and television is receiving the signal but it is not possible for the television to transmit that signal back. So, this is what simplex communication system. Now moving to the next one that is half duplex system. These systems are bidirectional, but they cannot transmit and receive signal simultaneously like walkie talkie. The last part is full duplex system. These are truly bidirectional systems as they allow the communication to take place in both the directions simultaneously like telephone. So the exchange of information can be done by the both end. Now the second type of the communication system is depending on what type of the signal we are sending or transmitting. It has two parts. First one is analog communication system where the massive signal is such that it is always time varying in nature. Examples of analog communication systems are continuous wave system and pulse modulation. The continuous wave systems are like amplitude modulation, phase modulation, frequency modulation and pulse modulations are like PAM, PWM and PPM. We will discuss about all of those in details in our upcoming videos. Similarly, if the massive signal is in the form of zeros and ones, that particular kind of signal is called digital signal and this type of communication is known as digital communication system. Let's talk about the third type of communication system which is on the basis of how we are processing our signal. Suppose we transmit any signal and that transmission is dependent without any modulation. Such type of communication system is known as baseband communication system. Baseband means two different things in the networking field. One, baseband is related to the digital signal transmission where the entire bandwidth of a baseband system carries only one data signal at a time. In other words, Every single signal would require an exclusive use of the shared medium. When one user may use the medium, no one else could be able to use it. They must wait for their turns. Ethernet is the example of baseband system. Though it is not in the part of our classification of communication system, but there is another term what we should also discuss that is broadband system. I hope all of you have heard that broadband term. So now let's talk about broadband. 
The term broadband technically refers to any type of signal transmission technique that carries two or more different types of data in separate channels. Broadband signals can share one medium. It is like a multiple lane highway where two or more vehicles can share the highway side by side at the same time. Now, in this slide, it's clear that at a time in broadband transmission, we can send various signals. Like here, we can send three types of signals at a time through three different channels. So, it is very much clear that data transmission rate in broadband transmission is much higher than the baseband transmission. In popular usage, broadband refers to any high speed internet connection. Baseband also refers to the original frequency range of a signal before it is moderated to a different frequency range. Example, an audio signal may have a baseband range from 20 Hz to 20 kHz before it is modulated. If we transmitting a signal and that signal is modulated, then we cannot say that this transmission is baseband transmission or that signal is baseband signal. Basically, what we need to understand is that before transmission, if the signal gets modulated, then that type of communication system is known as modulated communication system. And we can also define this type of communication system as passband communication system or bandpass communication system. In this passband transmission, the data modulates at high frequency sinusoidal carrier signal. That's why in passband transmission, we can send the signal far longer distance than baseband transmission. So this passband transmission is basically used for long distance communication. There are some differences between baseband transmission and passband transmission. The first point is no modulation or demodulation techniques are used in baseband transmission. But on the other hand, for passband transmission, modulation and demodulation techniques are used. Second point is baseband transmission is used for short distance communication. But on the other hand, Passband transmission used for long distance communication. In baseband transmission, sometimes poor quality reception happens due to low frequency signal transmission. But in passband transmission, better quality reception happens due to high frequency signal transmission. Those are the basic differences between baseband transmission and passband transmission. I hope in this video you got a detailed knowledge about the type of communication system. If you have any questions related to this topic, do let me know in the comment section below. And to get more content like this, please subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, press the like button and share with your friends. Stay safe, stay tuned.